Yeah. You know uh, the sound that you can't hear? Mm -hmm. That happens to be on the other side of the sound barrier? Uh -huh. That causes sonic booms when planes go through the sound barrier? Yes. Um, there is the possibility that there's atmospheres that we have not considered. Yeah. Now, I know that there are those in the family that said, well, I need to come to find out, and I happen to be of that fish family that, well, it's mythological that they actually exist in Atlantis and that there's a different atmosphere under the ocean than there is on the land. Yes. But if there's a different sound outside the sound barrier that human beings hear, yeah. Is there a different visible band of light that um, persons can't see? Mm -hmm. Now, this uh, electromagnetic radiation, yes, that can, is arranged in an order of wavelengths, yes. See, there's what's known as nuclear magnetic resonance, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. spectroscopy, yeah. Now, let's say mm -hmm, you decided to put a dome over the population because dogs would say they can hear better. I mean, it's been proven that they have a different spectrum of hearing. Yeah. But uh, there's always the question of exactly what atmosphere is being used as a kind of dome where sound is not being heard. Let's say I had a radar system. I covered the whole county in radar. Yeah. I uh, condensed the sound that is in the sound barrier or outside of it. Mm. Mm -mm. Now, you can slow down sound. Yes. What is the effect of radar slowing sound down so that, well, let's look at it, okay? Someone is using some technology that is causing individuals to not realize the effect of sound and sight. Mm -hmm. Now, this is the known spectrum of light available to those within science, yes. But what is the spectrum of light outside of the sound barrier? I'll give you an example. This morning I was riding the bus. Let's say there was an Atlantis and some rare ancient breeds of individuals that come to find out that thought that we were going their way, decided that they were going to condense the atmosphere of Atlantis mm -hmm. so as to stifle all sounds that they themselves dislike hearing. Oh. Now, when you consider the use of water, mm -hmm. because there are a lot of fish in water, yes, let's say what sounds can actually travel through water. Mm -hmm. Now, I know there's a lot of these top secret research laboratories underneath the oceans of the world. Yeah. In fact, I had seen a picture of a chute that was used in Ar the Arctic or Antarctica. Yes. So that beams of light could go from the Arctic into space and then beams of light could transfer from space uh, to below the Arctic. Yes. As soon as I said that, I said, well, you need to stuff that because we do not need chutes in the ice caps. <laughs> Could you just have a look-see mm -hmm. mm -hmm. at uh, the effect of the chute as it uh, moves light from space to Earth or from Earth to space? <laughs> now, this is documented, okay? These were real. Well... Let's say, okay, let's say that right there. 